Amanda from D&D Party Rentals and today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble one of our shaking dishes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble our 8 quart rectangular shaking dish but we also have other sizes and shapes available which I'll be showing you later on. You will receive your shaping dish from us in a large crate. Within that crate you will find one rack, one water pan, one full size 8 quart food pan or two half size 4 quart food pans, depending on what you've requested, one lid, two sternal cups and lids, and two sternal fuels. There are also a number of additional accessories that you can rent from us, such as serving utensils. We have spoons, forks, tongs. You can also purchase some extra sternal fuel from us, as well as a stick lighter. So let's begin with the assembly. First, you want to place your rack in the position where you would be doing your service because you don't want to be moving around afterwards with the water and fuel in it. Now that you have your set position, you want to start with your sternal cups and place them in their designated area at the base of the rack, followed by grabbing your sternal fuels and popping off the lid, placing them inside the sternal cups. And then you just want to pop on your lids. Next you want to grab your water pan, which is your and larger pan, and place it in the rack like so. Then you want to add about an inch and a half of boiling water, and you want it to be boiling because you don't want to waste time having your fuel heat up the water. Then you want to grab your stick lighter and ignite your fuel. Now you want to place your food pan preferably with food in it, on top of your water pan. For us, we're just going to picture we have some beautiful chicken. Now remember, your food will most likely be hot out of the oven, so make sure to use oven mitts or a kitchen towel to transport the food. Just a reminder that the shaping dish does not cook the food, it just keeps it warm, and our sternal fuel will last about two hours. So depending on how long you need your food warm for, you can purchase some more fuel. And now you're set to go. And when your service, is complete, you simply put your lid back on and extinguish your fuel. So depending on how long you need your food, ugh. 